Hey guys, it's Nucky here once again, and today I want to do a special unboxing of a very special new camera, and it's the newly launched Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 6K Pro. Firstly, I'd like to say a special thank you to Blackmagic Malaysia for being so kind to loan me a unit. By the way, just as a disclaimer, I'm not sponsored by them and the video is going to be an unboxing of the camera and I will talk about the specs of the camera only. Perhaps if I do have extra time with this camera, I will try to make a more detailed kind of a review, but for the moment, it's just going to be an unboxing. Oh, by the way, they also provided me the viewfinder and also battery grips. So yeah, let's go straight in and unbox this special camera. So in the box, as usual, they will give you this sticker and it's pretty cool. I kind of like having stickers. Also a welcome note, a leaflet or a pamphlet, whatever you want to call it. This is also provided with all the Blackmagic products that you usually buy from them. In the box, they also include a full working copy of DaVinci Resolve Studio. Now, this is not to be mistaken by DaVinci Resolve's free version, but this is a full-on studio version, so you can do more things with this studio license version. I wasn't really expecting this, but they did provide even an MPF battery that goes into the camera. And this is so useful because I almost thought I had to buy a battery just to turn this camera on because I don't have a lot of batteries of this size lying around. As always, with any new camera, you will get a camera strap and Blackmagic did include a Blackmagic camera product so you can flex around just to see you've got a Blackmagic. Although, to be really honest with you, I hardly use camera strap that comes with the camera. Anyway, they do provide you with a charging brick too, so that's really useful. Even provide a plethora of charging heads. Now, how useful is that? Not that you can actually travel anywhere anyway. And of course, the camera itself. Wow, the first time I actually held it in my hand, it really does feel really really nice in the hand. It just feels so solid and nice. Um, it does have a slightly plasticky feel, but it's not as bad as the first version and the second version. I think it feels well sorted. And I love the fact that this LCD screen is now tiltable. So that is so useful. It's definitely not a flippy, full on flippy screen to the side, but it definitely does tilt all well, it does tilt 90 degrees. So that's so useful. Now having a look at the sensor, Whoa, look at that sensor. That is nice. It even comes with inbuilt ND filters this time around. So you can forget those screw on ND filters and just go out and shoot and don't worry about the lenses that you use on it because every single lens will be covered by this ND filter. Now, how easy is that? Okay, in terms of input and output, this camera comes with a mic jack, a headphone jack, a full size HDMI jack, comes with USB-C, which you can also use directly with an SSD to record your videos directly onto the SSD. Now that's so useful. Useful. I wish that EOS R5 could do the same thing. And also comes with um, mini XLR jacks, two of them. And also there is a slot where you can charge your camera battery directly from the camera itself. Now that's so useful. And at the bottom, it comes with two quarter inch screws. So you can use that with a tripod plate. Also the battery bay or the battery door is at the bottom. The other thing I really love about the 6K Pro is the fact that it uses an EF mount. So I've got tons of EF lenses. So I just decided just to plunk in this EF lens because it's very nice and very light. So yeah, it's good. So now is a good time to talk about some of the other specs of this camera that I haven't mentioned already. The Pocket 6K Pro, it's actually made from a lightweight carbon fiber polycarbonate composite. So that's what makes it so light and still very strong. In terms of camera specs, the dynamic range of this camera is rated at 13 stops and it has a dual native ISO of 400 and 3200, which isn't too bad actually. In terms of recording storage, this camera comes with two card slots and it's a CFast card slot and an SD card slot and it supports up to UHS-2 SD cards. As for the recording codecs, it can record in Blackmagic RAW and also ProRes 422. In terms of sensor, this camera has a Super 35 sensor, so the crop factor isn't too bad at all. As for the back LCD screen, it's rated at 1500 nits at maximum power and it has a resolution of 1920 times 1080, so a full HD for a five inch monitor. Okay, so before I bore you with all the specs, let's go straight in and unbox the battery grip. 
So what you get in the box is literally the battery grip. There's no pamphlets, nothing in here. And the battery grip comes with some tripod screws at the bottom, two of them. And also it allows you to fit two NPF 550 and 570 batteries at the bottom. And it has these connectors here that connect to the bottom of the camera itself. So sliding the bottom plate here, you can actually fit two of the MPF batteries. So if you use this battery grip in total, if you use the battery in your camera itself, then you'll have a total of three batteries all on board and it can really extend the life of you being able to record on this camera. Attaching the battery grip is really easy. All you've got to do is unscrew this plate at the bottom here. And once you've done with that, just take the battery grip and orientate it to the exact orientation it's supposed to fit in and all you have to do is just screw it in and you're all set. Okay, moving over now, let's have a look at the Pocket Cinema Camera Pro EVF unit now. Okay, so what you get in the box is a few iCups, three iCups actually, and you get the EVF itself. And it's pretty much self-explanatory from here. To install the EVF, it's really simple. All you need to do is unscrew this top plate here on the camera and just slot in the EVF and you're pretty much good to go. I must say one of the things that I love about the EVF is the fact that it does come with a diopter adjustment. So because I'm using glasses, it makes life way easier using such an EVF like this. I think one brilliant feature about this EVF is the fact that you can tilt it up to 70 degrees. I think the fact that it can tilt definitely makes this EVF very useful to use. Okay, so this is just a quick rundown of the specs of this EVF. It comes with a resolution of 1280 times 960. It has 3.68 million dots. It is a micro OLED screen. It supports up to 60 frames a second and it has 24-bit RGB 16.7 million colors and as mentioned earlier you can change the eye cups and it also has diopter adjustments so yeah that's pretty much it right i guess that's it for my quick unboxing video of the new pocket cinema 6k pro i hope you guys enjoyed that quick unboxing experience please don't forget to like share and subscribe and as always all the gears that i use to make these videos are down in the description below right then see you guys in the next video peace